So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you this book by Twyla Tharp. It is called The Creative Habit, Learn It and Use It for Life. This book is a very interesting book um, that I would definitely recommend to anyone who's a creative person, even just someone who wants to be creative. Um, and this book has so many different um, chapters that talk about um, building the habit of being creative. So let me go into a few things. Um, I have some little cards to share with you um, about what I gained from reading this book. So she talks about being in shape. Um, ideas will come to you more quickly if you've been putting in the time in your chosen craft. So she talks about um, the more time you put into your art, whether you're a painter, a dancer, a musician, a writer, anyone who's um, focused on creating something, the more time that you put into it, the easier it is gonna be for you to form ideas. So if you can make it a habit for yourself to spend time creating and putting in the time, um, avoiding the distractions, it will be easier for you to build on more and more ideas of your craft. So she talks about being in shape. So that was a very important topic to read in that book. Another one, where is your pencil? Something as simple as this, where is your pencil? She talks about what's the tool that feeds your creativity. She has a little story in there that talks about a boy who found his idol which was a famous baseball player. And he wanted to get his autograph, but he didn't have a pencil on him. So he wasn't prepared and no one could seem to find a pencil. No one around him had a pencil. So he was like, well, sorry kid, I can't give you an autograph because there's no pencil around. So sorry, he missed his opportunity because he did not have his pencil. So she said, where's your pencil? What's the tool to feed your creativity and are you a writer? Do you carry a sketchbook with you anywhere? Um, it's just talking about being prepared, um, having your art materials ready for you, having your pen, your pencil, if you're a writer, your notebook, um, person who likes to write music, just something. Uh, you could be walking down the street or at the library or at a coffee shop and if you don't have your materials, Ideas could come to you, but you're not prepared because you don't have a pencil, you don't have your um, supplies with you. So carry a sketchbook or carry a small notebook and a pen. That's all it takes, just throw it in your purse or somewhere, your bag. And so you'll be ready when the moment comes when you have an idea that comes to your mind. So she says, where is your pencil? Um, another one, she talks about read. Um, this one is a lot, um, a big one for me because I like to read. Um, I've started to come down to the conclusion that I don't really want to watch a lot of TV anymore. Um, watching TV, if it's a, if you can choose what you want to watch, it's good. But if you just watch for leisure, sometimes that could be a hindrance to your creativity um, and to you getting things done. So I tend to kind of sway, stray away from watching TV and more towards reading. So just like this book, The Creative Habit, um, I had to carve out some time in my day um, to read, not watch TV, not um, just watching TV for leisure, but just picking up that book and reading. So she says, reading for growth, to gain ideas, scribbles, writing in books, turning you know, making uh, notes in books, scribbling in your books, highlighting in your books. So usually when I read a book, um, I'll highlight a lot of the points that I um, particularly like. So I'll even uh, underline. So what she says when she's scribbling in her book, she'll say that it'll turn her book into your book. So this is my book, so when I scribble, Everything in here um, is what I've what I've highlighted and thought was important. So I turned her book into my book. So reading is just important. Even when I was young, I didn't like reading. I didn't like school. I didn't like just doing all that. So now that I'm older, I have learned the importance of reading. And I actually like to read. If something is of interest to you, you're more likely to read it. So if you find something interesting, um, 
you're more likely to retain the information and like to read. So she talks about how reading is very important to generate ideas for creativity. So take some time out to read. Um, another key point is to do. Better to be ready to go than to wait until you are perfectly ready is what she says in her book. So there will never be a perfect time to do anything ever. I don't mean, I don't care how many times you tell yourself, I'm going to just wait to the perfect time to do something, or uh, I'm just going to wait until I finally get enough money. Or if I finally get the studio I need or the supplies that I need, everything you need is right there with you. You don't need to go to the store to buy anything. If you want to get started as a writer, I'm sure you got some kind of paper in the house. Some kind of pencil, pen, everybody's got a million pens in their house, I know they do. Um, you want to be an artist, there's paper, anything. You can use a regular number two pencil. If you want to start drawing, just pick up a number two pencil. I know it sounds strange. Uh, you want to have perfect pencils and perfect pens, but just get started. That's the only thing you can do. So don't let, um, don't let not having the proper supplies stop you. She says, trap. There's a trap that everything has to be perfect before you get ready to start. Everything doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think anything in life will ever be perfect, to be honest. Um, they're never going to be a perfect day. There's always going to be something coming up tomorrow. Um, you might say, well, I don't really only have about an hour to do it. I only have about two hours. Just get ready. Just do it. If you're working and you're on your lunch break, um, you might say, I only have about 20 minutes. That's not enough time to do art. 20 minutes is enough time to read. It's enough time to scribble something down to generate some kind of idea. So everybody has the time. So there will never be a moment, like I said, when things will be perf in perfect harmony ever. So just get started. And she says, just go ahead and do. Um, she also talks about moving. Go move. If you're having a hard time generating ideas, she will tell you to move and go take a walk with a goal in mind. You might live close to a grocery store or art gallery or um, hardware store, somewhere. She says to just get out there and go move. That will help you to generate an idea. So um, take a field trip in your location, go to a museum. If you're looking for ideas, looking for something to be in to inspire you, take a walk to the bookstore. Um, bookstores are filled with ideas. I mean, books are everywhere. Books have loaded with information. So take a book, uh, take a walk to the bookstore, take a walk to the coffee shop, take a walk to the hardware store, anywhere. There's ideas all around us. We just have to look for them. So just go and move. Um, she also has a section where she says, start with a box. And she talks about thinking outside of the box, but first you gotta start with a box. You gotta start with something to put your ideas in. Um, she says she used, to, she used to create, the way she creates is that she places everything she has in a organizer box. So you gotta start, you have to have something that's gonna hold your ideas. Hold all your information. You might need like a bag or whatever you want to use. You can even use a box yourself. Just have something that's going to hold your ideas in place. A notebook you can use. I like to keep a notebook, um, like a Mead spiral bound notebook that you use for school. That's what I like to write down my ideas for the day. It's like about this thick um, and I use that to Whatever ideas come to mind, I just write it down. Because for me, writing helps me to get it in my mind so that I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. And it helps me to plan some of the ideas that I have going on. If you don't write it down, odds are you're gonna forget it. So start with a box. And this isn't the last thing, but this is another point she talks about is habit. You have to create a habit. Um, she talked about how she would get up every morning, even though she didn't want to, to go work out at the gym. She lives in New York City. 
um, takes a taxi to get to a gym so she can work out and she does like I said she does it when she does not feel like it so you have to create a habit um, some people you want to be a good writer make it a habit to read make it a habit to take time out to write you want to be a good artist you got to carve out time and your schedule to to create art um, I know sometimes we make excuses and we feel like we don't have enough time, but there's time. We make time for what's important. So make it a habit to um, feed your creativity. Whatever you might be, a writer, a musician, an artist, a painter, a sculptor. Um, you may might make clothing. Uh, you might write a blog. You might write want to write a book but make it a habit to feed your creativity so i'm going to tell you a little bit about twyla tharp she began in 1965 she created over 130 dances um with her company the joffrey ballet and the american ballet theater she won two emmy awards and a tony award she re um, received 18 honorary doctorates and she currently lives in, in, in New York City. So um, if you found this book, most of the stuff that I went over is just a fraction of what's, our, what's in this book. There's so much more information that's in this book than what I have shown you. So I've just gone over just a small amount of what's in this book. So if you're looking to um, get yourself in a creative habit, um, get this book and um, it's just got a, a whole, ton of information in here and remember to take time to read a book um read something new read something that's going to feed your mind um tv is good but it sometimes it will stop take all your energy away from what you um want to accomplish so go out today and read a book read something that's going to move you forward move you into a creative direction so thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy um, this book review and take time to read.